something Oz-like about it? Something otherworldly that, that us mere mortals don't get to see every day? Uh, it's beautiful, it's inviting, it's fascinating. For a site that was based on production and noise and volume that had, at times, you know, 2,500 people working over there, it can be the most peaceful place in the world. Alloy Pittsburgh as, as an exhibition, but also sort of a laboratory and um, bringing in 15 regional artists to really spend some time together in this place and to kind of understand what the, what the carry furnaces were, but also to use that place as a, a way of sort of understanding Pittsburgh. It's hard to go to Cary and not, and not be affected by that place. Original motivation was to give artists, a group of emerging artists, like this opportunity to, to really spend some serious time at the Cary Furnaces and, and investing in what that place is and what it, you know, all the contributing factors that make it the Cary Furnaces, and then have a chance to to internalize that more than you you would for, you know, or during just a tour. Art practices on site or kind of looking at that site through the lens of an art practice can really offer a unique way of thinking about the future of it and what does it mean, what, how does it function again as an element that ties community together outside of a place where you know, iron is created. The documentary itself was the first time anybody knew who actually did it and how they created the deer. Really the physical process and the individuals involved. They were some of the very first guerrilla artists in Pittsburgh doing wild and crazy stuff. Very organic, very um, temporary. We spent the whole first year trying to convince the artists to be part of it because it, it had been done illegally, quote unquote, at the time. New generations, you know, they take a place and make it their own. That's what they did. With the knowledge of what it was about, their nod to that is the materials they're using. Their own interpretation is the degradation of the site over time and the wild nature taking it back, and that's the deer. project actually I mean there had been iron pours before but the beauty of this was actually really having a purpose and then Josh actually had the idea to create the plaques so that they were inlaid so you could take rubbings. What ended up happening was that you had the master gardeners working alongside uh, you know big steel sculptors and students and like people that you would never see together normally working together for an ultimate goal which was really the best part about it for, from my perspective um, and the project, you know, the, once the project has been cast and it came out beautifully, um, 
that this will be a permanent piece down at Cary. As far as uh, just invigorating the spirit of art making at this site, I think it's uh, really uh, kind of shot a spark into that and it's ignited something that um, I think the Rivers of Steel are, are really looking forward to. This site can be far more than just a static historic site. It deserves to be far more than just a static historic site. Bringing art into the equation, whether it's purposeful or it just happens, has been huge in that it's bringing new audiences, expanding the demographics of these audiences, and in turn, bringing people not just to us, but into the communities around here.